This is why Chelsea completed this deal for the new left-footed centre-back needed by Graham Potter. So it's done. Badia Shield will be new Chelsea player. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Fabrizio Romano here. Happy New Year again, guys. Enjoy your 2023. And today we jump into all the details of new stories. Mikhailo Mudrik, Buka Yosaka, and not only. Let's jump into it together. And guys, it's time to say Happy New Year, but also here we go for Chelsea for the third time after David Datro Fofana and Andre Santos. It's now time for Benoit Badia Shield. The agreement is signed and completed with Monaco. So Chelsea will pay 38 million euros with the dons. Everything is agreed between clubs. Contracts are being prepared. Also on player side, contract of six year and half, so very long contract for Benoit Badia Shield. It will help Chelsea also with the financial fair play situation, very good payment terms, and so this is why Chelsea completed this deal for the new left-footed centre-back needed by Graham Potter. So it's done. Badia Shield will be new Chelsea player here we go. Also, guys, moving on Arsenal, Chelsea and more is important to say. I know you always ask me about Enzo Fernandez. I will keep you posted in the next hours or days when something changes. Uh, Chelsea and Benfica are still in negotiation, so we have to wait and see what happens on Benfica's side or Rui Costa, the president, to decide on Chelsea proposal. But also, guys, it's important to speak about Mikhailo Mudrik top talent. I told you in the past few days about the opening bid of Arsenal, 40 million euros plus 20 million euros in adults. Shakhtar said immediately no to the Arsenal proposal. What happened? That the two clubs, Shakhtar Donetsk and Arsenal, remained in contact. Very good contacts because Arsenal kept pushing. Shakhtar could be open to accept something less than 100 million euros they state in public, so they're trying to find a way. And in this conversation, Arsenal submitted on Monday, so uh, today, a new official bid for Mikhailo Mudrik. A new official bid, which is more than 50 million euros guaranteed. So Arsenal have made this new proposal, waiting for Shakhtar Donetsk to reply and to decide. Let me clarify one thing. On player side, there is no problem on personal terms because Mikhailo Mudrik would reach the agreement with Arsenal in five minutes. He would love to join Arsenal. He dreams of Premier League. But the timing is important. Again, guys, it's January transfer window, not summer. The clubs are very fast when they act. And so Arsenal have to be fast with Mikhailo Mudrik because also Chelsea are interested in Mudrik. Again, the priority is Arsenal, the player priority is Arsenal, but Chelsea are moving, Chelsea are trying to move for Mikhailo Mudrik. In case Arsenal deal collapses, Chelsea will be there, but now Arsenal is the priority, Arsenal made a new bid and the player wants Arsenal as priority. Then it's everything up to Arsenal and Shakhtar now. So let's see how the conversation will continue, but the reality is that the new bid has been made and the two clubs remain in contact. So this is kind of negotiation, to give you an example, not like Ajax and May United last summer for Anthony that was really complicated and so was just about official bids, answer, official bids, answer. In this case is a direct dialogue between Arsenal and Shakhtar with official bids, but also with a dialogue to find the right way. Let's see about the timing the player is waiting to. And then, guys, important to mention Bukayo Saka, because after William Saliba, after Charlie Patino, Arsenal also per Bukayo Saka have triggered the option to extend his contract for one more year, but Arsenal, again, for Saka, Martinelli, Saliba and Patino will offer them a new long-term contract. So it's one of the missions of this 2023, to extend with long-term contracts, Saka, Martinelli, Saliba as priorities and also Patino for the future. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories. Mikhailo Mudrik, Enzo Fernandez, Benoit Badiashil and much, much more. I wait for your opinion. Hit in the comments, like this video, turn on the notification bell. As always, see you soon on the channel and subscribe. Ciao!